Good morning, Hope Church. Why don't we stand on our feet and worship the Lord together today?
Nobody else around us does. I pray you're healing virtue through the bodies right now. I, I, I pray the Holy Spirit sweep through this room right now. 
I pray for sickness to flee. I pray for healing and miracles to happen in your mighty name right now. Under your authority. We thank you for the healing that is taking place. Transformation's happening right now. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. La, 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 la. Hallelujah, Lord. The devil is not bigger than you. The devil is nothing to us. You are a great God. We praise you. We thank you. We claim it. Victory right now in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Why don't you clap your hand and thank God for the victory right now? Maybe you don't understand some, but thank God anyway. Thank God if you hurt. Thank God if, you, if your heart's hurt today. Because we have a great God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. One more thing before we move further. You know what today is? Today is Sunday. Somebody got it right. Glad you're here. No, too. Nobody here. 9-11 9-11 I don't know if you realize 9-11 2001 some bad things happen now we know bad things happen all the time but the world as we know it changed we had a terrorist attack and it'll never be forgotten all the people that was lost that day over 3,000 people but the thing is people's lives it wasn't just them that lives changed it's people around them changed just like our lives change when we get the Holy Spirit. When we got God in our lives, people are around us change. You know, I was watching the news one. People are still getting sick from inhaling all that stuff, all that fuel. People are dying. Cancer's coming. But you know what? Lives have changed. But one thing that didn't change is our great God. This is what we have to know. Our great God didn't change. Now, God didn't cause all that to happen. But our God is a miracle worker, and he can change the projection the way we walk. We might be walking sideways. God can fix us and walk straight. Amen? So I, I want to pray. I want to pray for everybody who was affected. Because when that happened, we went to war immediately. So now you got more thousands of people being affected. You got veterans. Yeah, they signed up for it. They being affected. Their families being affected. This is a real thing. So I think we need to pray for some peace. Oh, Lord, Lord. God's working in here. God's, uh, God's already telling me he's done something so wonderful. I feel his presence. Let's just pray again. Let's, let's just pray. Lord, we love you. We thank you. We know there was a tragedy that day. But I pray, Lord, you lift those people up that are having a bad day. Lift those people up that, are, that was dealt with that, Lord. Because you are a way maker. You are, you are a miracle worker, Lord. I pray for a sense of peace in your life. Anyone who was affected by that and beyond. There's millions and millions of people it was. But you know what? You are the way maker. You are the game changer in all of this. It don't just go away, but you help us get through these storms. You don't just help us get out of it. You help us get through it because you are peace. You are hope. Amen. I, Lord, I just pray right now, Lord. I just pray for healing hearts, Lord. The Bible says you are close to the brokenhearted, Lord. And I just thank God. I just thank you for being close to the brokenhearted, Lord. We praise you. We love you. In Jesus' name, we all say amen.